Let's talk about grounding. Next to only working in a very small cubicle in an office with no air conditioning, there are a few things in life that are more soul crushing as driving in a grounding rod. There are four what I would call relatively effective ways to drive a grounding rod into the ground. The first would be by yourself on a ladder with a sledgehammer. And you'll soon find out why that's my least favorite. A variation of the on a ladder with a sledgehammer is on a ladder with a sledgehammer and your significant other standing under the pipe with a pair of channel locks holding it in place. All right, we're gonna go on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Daddy, no! That can have effects on your marriage. Third would be with a post pounder like you would use to drive in T-posts for a fence line. And that works pretty well. But my absolute favorite is to use the spike attachment with a scrapped half inch socket on the end of an SDS Max. That usually makes pretty quick work of it. Now that we got this ground rod all the way into the ground, I'm gonna use a ground clamp and this wire, which is overkill for this system, but uh, it's what I've got. So I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna run that into the box and it is gonna connect to the grounding hub that's in this charge controller. Now, this charge controller is also way overkill for this system, but this one I got on a barter, helping a friend hook up their battery system to a new sort of a system, and I had it, so I figure why spend the extra 100 bucks when I don't need to right now, when I wanna put in a bigger system somewhere else, I can scavenge this from this system and go spend 100 bucks instead of 800 bucks on one of these. Frugal, gotta be thrifty and use what you already got. I like to get everything just like prepped and made up before I have to bend down because, you know, who wants to do that? This down through this hole here. And there you go. You got a ground into the box and that'll connect to the ground inside the charge controller, which will also, it's a little bus. It's got three little ports. The ground that we run from the solar array, which we will also ground to the pipe that goes into the ground. And then we'll go into a box and through that conduit with the plus and minus from the solar array, we'll all terminate here at the charge controller. And you'll notice I'm not connecting anything. <laughs> I'll connect the ground and then I'll, I'll run the wires without connecting them to the solar panel, run the wires over here and connect them. Then there's no power in the entire system. You don't have to worry about anything. And then in the box at the top of that conduit, all of the other wires uh, will have been reduced into two wires they'll make a single connection and that'll be that and it'll all be running without ever coming in contact with any of the high voltage that a solar can put out and that's how you do it safely do the do the bonding do the grounding make all the connections in the electronics that don't have power run to them yet then make the power connection with an mc4 connector and then you're totally fine that's just science where I need to drill this hole for the ground to go in. Whoa, fuck it. What, you want some? You want some, scorpion? I've done battle with your kind before. I'll feed you to the chickens. Scorpion loses fatality.